Welcome to Medieval Motors and today's impromptu video filming. Um, some of you may remember a couple videos back we did the cooling uh, system and the trans cooler lines and the oil cooler lines and everything and put an electric fan on. Unfortunately the fan controller died on me and I almost overheated the blazer. So we're gonna have to fix that. But instead of putting another cooler on or another fan controller on there, I'm gonna see if I can get the stock ECU to handle that duty for me. So let's take a look. So we got the blue and green connectors on the uh, Blazer computer disconnected. And then uh, earlier today, I went to the local LKQ and I got a miscellaneous pigtail. Is how they billed me. So for $7, I got a whole bunch of already pinned connectors and enough wire uh, to splice in and hook it up to what I need. So first step, let's strip this thing down. Here I'm just trying to strip down the pigtail to get to the uh, wires that I'm looking for. Uh, just gotta get everything out of the way. Um, then make the you know, extraction process easier. According to the pinout that I found online for my ECU, if the vehicle would have came with an electric fan, it would be on pin 42 on the uh, top blue connector. That wire would be dark green. This isn't pin 42, but this was the darkest green I could find. And now let's see if we can figure out how to get this out of here. Green looks to be the third one from the end on the top, which would be that one. I think I actually have the tool for this. And there we go. A nice dark green signal wire. Now, let's go put it in the blazer. All right, based upon what I learned from taking apart the other harness, we gotta get rid of this little collar on this bolt so that we can get it out because it holds the whole assembly together. So. Finally broke. I'll slide you out for safekeeping. 
and then we just need to pull these in. later and here we can see that's pin 42 and there's a green thing in the way a yellow thing I don't know if I can pull that out backwards or if it has to go all the way through all right so we can't just push it through from the back we're gonna have to pop this blue thing out and pull it up a little bit And that's all seated in. Now we have to actually see if it does anything. And we got the green one. Slide that back in. Put the blue one back in on top. Get that bolt which it took out before. Line it all up. Don't tighten it too far. It just needs to be snug. We don't want to distort anything. So here we are in HP tuners and we've changed the specifications in the uh, system slash fans uh, tab. Mm -hmm so that the computer can now control the fans. I have it kicking on at 210 degrees, kicking off at 200. Anytime we're below 25 miles an hour, uh, just because, you know, if you're doing that, then the fan's not moving. If you're going faster than 25, the fan's not moving any air. Uh, you got enough air blowing over the radiator anyways. Uh, so, when I get dual fans, I'll be able to fine-tune this, and then hopefully once I get air conditioning working again, uh, I can have full control of the cooling system uh, via the computer. So here you can see we cleaned up the wiring. Uh, pin 42 is a negative. Uh, the computer connects a ground. So, we have that uh, trigger wire grounding out all the way across the truck because of course and then we bring it down and we use that ground signal to trigger the relay I've got the uh, fan main power and the switch power that goes to the computer all tied up to post B on the fuse panel that way it's already got a 30 amp fuse taking care of it. So that should be good there. And we cleaned up the wiring running all down to the fan. And after driving it for a few days, it works beautifully. So that wraps up another uh, video about uh, the Johnny Blaze or We've got more upcoming, but that was just kind of an impromptu because I needed to do it. Um, in theory, the next one should be about the stereo installation. Um, so give a, a look out for that. And we're going to try something a little different than just your average stereo install.
uh, but the cooling system now works beautifully on Johnny. So um, we've also got some upcoming stuff on Chucky. And it's time for the donor Silverado to finally live up to its name and be a drivetrain donor. So if you liked what you saw today, be sure to uh, subscribe, give me a like, drop a comment, uh, share, and uh, until next time, later.